So as we all know, DJ Academics is one of the top hip hop media influencers ever. Whether it's him beefing with other rappers, making a controversial unpopular statement, or just him going on a drunk rant on his Twitch. Nigga, you couldn't be me, you bum ass nigga! It's safe to say that academics planted this staple in hip hop and it's a big reason why a lot of people now want to do hip hop commentary cause before he got big and became mainstream people looked at him as like a joke and they didn't take what he did seriously until he became a voice and the higher ups in the industry had no choice but to acknowledge him. College Kid is a hip hop based social media platform that was developed by two brothers Richard and Rayshawn Austry where they started to make a name for themselves by posting Chicago related topics especially when the drill movement started to take off to the mainstream and essentially they were like the first big platform to give Chicago rappers some spotlight. But in June 2014, everything would change. Cause DJ Academics would start his own YouTube channel called The Warren Chirac, where he would go into depth in a satire way about who these rappers were and why they had so many ops and why a lot of them are dying. Players, yes, they're moving, some are dying. I still can't believe Capo died. They killed Capo! How the fuck could they kill Capo, the most loyal savage? And this really struck a nerve of College Kid, especially after academics were surpassed College Kid's popularity for covering Chicago artists. And cause of this, College Kid would make his own domain of DJ Academics and own the name to the website to frustrate the fellow YouTuber. You bought my, you bought my, you bought my djacademics.com. You've been paying for that for three years thinking I'm gonna ever need it. Congratulations, you played yourself. I don't need it. And throughout the years on social media, they would take little jabs at him too. Especially the most controversial one saying that he's a P.E.D.O. Since he asked Bad Baby who was 15 at the time who she had relations with. Cause it was a big rumor that her and Trippy Red was a couple. And X and 6 9 were trying to expose that, especially 6 9 Since he felt like Trippy Red trying to end and expose his career before he really got on. So that's where that question that Academics asked Bad Baby stemmed from. And without contest, that sound really bad. Especially being that Academics was almost 30 at the time too. It's not is saying that Trippy f you, that's a fault. Cause, no, but I told you already, there's one person in this world who could ever say they had me. One person. But after years of subliminal shots online, Academics will finally address them on his Twitch, where he claims that college kid is jealous of him cause he surpassed him of what they did in three years he did in six months. And he says there's no competition between the two cause he's just that bigger than him. I haven't done War Chirac in two years and you've been doing this shit for six years and I've got in... I did Warren Chirac. How would I do Warren Chirac? I haven't just, just just do the math. I haven't done Warren Chirac in two years almost. That channel alone has wrapped your shit around four times, and I haven't done it. Y'all y'all are washed up. Period. I I, I washed you up in six months. <laughs> I'm I'm not I'm not playing out here. I washed you up in six months. Six months. And for a moment, things will settle down for a couple years. You'll still have college kid throwing a little shots at academics on Twitter, running with the narrative that he liked 14 year old girls. But not until late 2021, academics will go all in on him, as if he was just holding his anger in for years. And it's brutal, trust me. Just listen to this right here. Still living off like, like I living off eight years ago. When you mad at me, you still told my war in Chirac. Y'all two broke bitch ass niggas. Who ain't realized what I've done since? I got a Spotify deal, nigga. I want a complex, did my shit. I sold mad shows. I've been moving around. Y'all niggas is just bums. Y'all are two twins. Look at y'all wanna fuck each other more than anything else. College kid, you was never as you the talent y'all bum ass niggas have ain't even in my pinky toe. Learn life, you bum niggas. Can I pave the road, you bum ass niggas? That's a fact! Now on the last day of 2021, December 31st, one of the co-founders of College Kid, Richard Austria, would pass away due to COVID-19. And academics, he held no punches back either. Especially with it being that one of his last tweets before he passed away, he was dissing academics. So you know what Ak did? He went on Twitch to mock him dying by Ak claiming that he died of hatred in his heart due to all the years of College Kid talking down and dissing academics for no reason. Not only that, but he also threatens the other brother too who didn't die. And he claims if he keep dissing him, he's gonna leak the pictures of his dead brother. Sometimes for me, it's hard for me to say R.I.P. Because when niggas was really alive, all they could do was wish that I was living in hell on earth. College kid, one of y'all already out of here. The other one, right? He was trying, he was trying to violate you. You're going through a, a morning and shit like that. But I'm telling you right now, you see where your brother has has went to? That's the only way, that's the only place you're gonna go to if you're still overdosing on hate. Your brother didn't die COVID. 
he overdosed on hate. That's a fact. The nigga, instead of going to doctor's appointment, instead of focusing on his health, instead of focusing on family, instead of focusing on anything good, his last moments in life was sending out tweets hating on academics. But if you really want to continue, and I see another tweet about pedo accusing me, your brother funeral pictures will be very much up on the fucking internet. You know why? Because I guess everybody needs to see it. What a fucking hater that's dead looks like. Now fast forward to the current day and there's still bad blood between the two and it looked like college kid got their wish of trying to cancel academics cause most recently a couple months ago old clip of academics will resurface where someone made it seem like that he wanted to date an underage kid while still being at college but of course this wouldn't affect his career as we pretty much know that most people that want to cancel him don't even watch him in the first place and once he gave context and explained the video that resurfaced it all made sense to why he said that but in conclusion the beef between these two hip hop figures right here is personal and it's crazy cause it stemmed from over a decade ago. Though we do know academic side and point of view and why he don't like them, we never really heard why they had beef with him or where their problems with him stem from. So basically this video is in the standpoint of academics, not necessarily college kids. And it is sad that they got to this point where they at right now, cause I don't think it'll ever be closure. Especially after academics he mocked one of them dying, it's always gonna be tension brewing between the two. And maybe academics he always felt like he was a victim in this whole situation right here, cause he felt like the only reason why they got problems with him is cause they're jealous of him. And where he's at in his career they felt like they should have been there. I do personally kind of side with DJ Academics on this beef right here because there was really no legit reason why college kids started dissing him in the first place where they would be subliminal by saying all oh, Academics he got mad at the comedian for dissing X but yet was doing the same thing when Little Dirt's cousin OTF Nunu died or making Twitter threats like does DJ Academics tear down black people for success while comparing them to Uncle Ruckus and there's many more posts too on the internet where they shade him and take more subliminal jabs at him but like I just said it's kind of hard to agree with college kids especially when they never talked about this situation publicly and they're not really online personalities like the academics which probably played a part in why he surpassed them in a short amount of time but y'all let me know down in the comments how y'all feel about this whole situation right here do you think college kid was in the right for coming at academics for stealing their chicago theme lingo or they're just blatantly hating on him and jealous of where he's at in his career right now y'all let me know down in the comment section make sure you like the video subscribe have a nice day